Miyari, Usaka Sakabo, Hola y Buenos Dias, Hello and Good Day. I'm going to be playing Wakfu on Steam. And for those who don't know what Wakfu is, um, you can you can Google it. There's a cartoon, uh, I think on Netflix or, or um, Hulu, maybe both, where you can get a better idea of the world and all that stuff. I'm going to be playing it on Steam though. Just waiting for it to open. Salud! Bless you! Okay, so essentially I was told to start with Ogrest INT. If I'm not mistaken, this is the server where I actually have a friend that plays this game already. Um, playing. So this is the server. Now I gotta create a character. <laughs> oh, cool. What is this? Okay, that, that character looks pretty cool. She looks pretty cool too. Okay, but do I can I can change? Why oh, she looks so scary? Difficulty are these all like easy characters and? Okay, I like an ellipsis. Yeah, medicine knowledge. Okay, so should I start? I should probably start with an easier character, right? Maybe. Oh, let's click the Female characters. How about that? Let's do that. Um, because I do identify as Female. Um, she's adorable. Do I... What is this? Tank heals damage. She's a level two difficulty. Okay, she's cool looking too. I like the little flowers in her hair though. I don't know what I want to do. We'll go with medium difficulty. Fuck it. Um. Her skin tone, okay, because I I'm I'm brown, but I'm not that brown. Like we go, we gonna be a little bit more realistic with the, the level of brown I am on here. I'm light skin to it. So this is the hair color. I want her to have red hair. Reddish brown. like black and it doesn't look like it gives you closest to black you can get really is gray wait can i type oh yeah i should be able to there we go look at that shit we're gonna go with that I'm trying to make her look i wonder should i should i just take a picture of my skin tone upload it to an html thing and then yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be that. I'm gonna be that kind of nerdy. You know, that's what we're gonna do. This is taking longer than it should. Am I that serious about it? I like her clean outfit. And I'm very much a pink and orange girl. So I think I'm going to do all this tan stuff to be pink.
brighter orange though, so I can differentiate it from my skin tone. Because then my character's gonna walk around looking like she's naked, and I don't want I don't want too much attention from like creepy dudes on the internet, you know what I mean? Like there's always one or a thousand. And it's sad. It's it's very sad. We're gonna copy that color because we want to match. Flower can stay that color. And the other green. Ta-da! And then what's this? Okay. I like the white flower. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna change it to red because that is the color of the um, for Puerto Rico, the flower. And the yellow is red. Uh, red hibiscus is our flower. So. There we go. Oh shit, she's adorable. And as always, my character's name is going to be Phoenix. Can I move, like, can I move her around? Can I, like, get the full... No, we're not? Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, I think we're good. I think this is... Wait, there's an arrow right here. Okay, she looking... Well, then. Okay, Miss Ma'am. Alright, we are going to... What is this? What is this? Ooh, I really don't want to press this button and then it undo. Is it? Okay, that's the only outfit I can have. Oh, I can change her hair and stuff? Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, I like that hair. No. Do I want her? I do wear my hair in a bun a lot. But do I want her? Oh my goodness. I don't know if I want that one. The bun. My hair's not that long. I wish there was one that was more... That's the closest to curly. This is probably what I'm gonna go with. I'm not even gonna lie. Because I wear my hair down a lot as well. And that bun is cute and all, but it doesn't give curly. That gives curly. Mm hmm. Yep. So we're gonna go with that one. She looks so cute. Okay. Okay. Moving on. That name is already taken by another player. Well, shit. Phoenix Taino, since that's my gamer name. There we go. Okay, see? Should have just done that from the beginning. Oh, that area kind of looked like a dragon in and of itself. Uh-oh. Oh no, what happened to my little character? Looks like I just reincarnated. Well, let's start by getting out of here. Movements are performed by left clicking. Target any accessible point on the map and your character will move there. You can click and hold to keep moving forward. Okay. There's my mouse. I was like, wait a second. All right, so we wanna move here. Okay. Level one, yes, your girl is weak. Okay, I see. Some game elements can be interacted with. The cursor will change shape when they are. Most interactions are done via right click. You can then left click to select the specific interaction you want. 
and sometimes your character will independently move to the interactive element to perform the interaction cool so can I just like no oh I do want to start a fight okay I must say I don't want to kill that cute little rabbit thing okay is this turn-based is that what we're doing to get around in combat simply click on the desired cell each cell navigated this way costs one movement point therefore the targeted cell must be within the range set by your remaining MP okay I'm assuming that's the okay it's color coordinated there's green squares and there's a green little bubble thing uh, MP are reset to their maximum value at the end of each turn oh nice okay so it's not like a total so it's kind of like chess my little chess player can only move three squares okay and that's why there's a three down there okay my kids are waking up for school by the way I don't know if y'all can hear them but fights are turn-based well, that answers that question you can only perform actions on your own turn click on the end turn button to end your turn okay so I'm assuming is it like you can't you have to heal and then fight on different turns like you can only do one thing or you can hmm. sorry I got distracted by the chat over here uh, which isn't gonna do any good so I click on him and what does that do? I don't understand. Oh, there's an arrow. All right, so that's end turn. Left click to change display settings. And I can't move because I just moved, right? So the arrow is the end turn thing. And there goes my kid on the way to the bus stop. You know what? Let me move. They're a teenager, so you know, it's not like I'm sending my toddler outside by themselves. So. Y'all calm down. And the turn to attack the Wodent. <laughs> Select the space in the bar at the bottom right. Then target the Wodent. The Wodent must be in the actions area of effect, the blue area. So you'll have to get close to the Wodent first. Gotcha. So it's not in the blue area. Anything I do isn't going to let me do shit. You need action points to perform. Actions in comment. I just sounded like that beaver off of Lady and the Tramp that... The whistle just came right on out. I don't even know how I did that. AP are reset to their maximum value at the end of each turn. The spells AP cost is shown in this spell the description. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. So, okay. So I gotta hit the fight button first. But I'm not close enough, which means I gotta get closer. No. How do I go back to movement? Why are you telling me to do this? <laughs> I want to move though. I fucked up. How do you undo? Finish the fight against the Woden. Okay, but why do you want me to do this if I can't actually hit the thing? Well, let me. Oh, okay, so I can do a movement and fight at the same time. Julie noted. Julie noted. That's why it's telling me to do what it's telling me to do. Now, hit that bitch. Can I hit it more than once? Nope. No. 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 Okay, so then I end the turn. Duh. Now it's my turn. Oh, he's not even fighting back. He's just sitting here minding his business. I feel like a dickhead just fighting this cute little rabbit. I do see how the numbers down here are resetting. Oh, 
So I'm assuming if you were fighting back, I would want to like take the time to like move and then get in and all that other shit, right? Click on. Oh, I have to actually click on the thing. See, now I can't do that. Okay, so I gotta come back over here. See, I didn't do shit. See, trial and error. This is what trial and error is for. It's gonna stay my turn because this thing don't <laughs> doesn't defend itself. <laughs> Oh, it feels good to let loose on a poor, innocent little bunny that wasn't doing shit to you. Ah, uh, he seems to have dropped a broken key. Interesting. And they're on the bus. Now what? Now, let's see. Now, if I move my mouse, will they just... Okay. I don't... I can just... Path is blocked. That Woden is smarter than it looks. I've got the portal key, but it's broken. There's a machine over there that probably fixes keys with the right materials. Oh, I see. To make a tree grow, use its cutting on an area of fertile ground. Select the cutting and then plant it in the specified location. I read. A tree! I have to wait a bit for this tree to grow. Trees like plants and crops take time to grow. Once the tree has grown, cut it to get wood. Okay, but like... Okay. Now that you've collected the ingredients, you can use the workshop to fix the broken key. Okay. Now can I just click on this? Oh, I don't even have to hold the thing down. Okay, we're learning, learning as we go. Use portal key. The key can open the portal. Next stop, incarnation. I clicked it though, so what do I need to... Oh, do I need to click on this? What it is? Wait, wait a... Wait, wait a minute! <laughs> Portal key and... Walk through wood. Which would be... Something I don't even have. Right? I have wheat. Okay, I'm confusion. This is probably a lot easier than what it seems like at the moment, but I don't know. I got the wood, right? So you right click, use, click on the portal key, right? No? Doesn't do shit. If not, it's not what I need because I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's a check mark. Should I hit the check mark? <laughs> Duh. Okay. Broken key and and I have both check marks. Okay, I click on that and now it's making it. Okay, see, we figured it out. Um, now what? Do I just click on the thing? Give me the key. Why it no just automatically give me the fucking key? Did I fuck up when I left the thing? Like, help me. I mean, it's saying I don't have the ingredients for this recipe, but like, how do I pick up the motherfucking key? It's right there. Oh, 
click on a bitch. Left clicking don't do nothing. Right clicking don't do nothing. Wait, what just happened? Oh, is it gonna automatically give me the? There's an arrow over there, pendeja. Do what the key is telling you to do, or the game is telling you to do. So it just automatically gave you the key. You ain't even have to do nothing. Okay, por pendeja no sale. Okay. Ahora tú sabes. Oh, now we're supposed to buy the bunny again. Nina. Fight. Each fight has health points. When the HP drops to zero, the fighter dies or is KO. When all fighters are KO or dead, the fight is over. Ooh, do I get to have like other players that like a party? Not just other like like not NPC characters that I can fight with or can only fight with other people. Like in real life people. To cast a spell, simply left click it in your spell bar to select it. A description of its effects will appear when you hover over it and right click on it. Okay. The cells reachable by the spell are indicated when you select the spells. They depend on the spell's range. Left clicking on the desired target will cast the spell. Okay. The spells have various parameters an AP cost, a potential WP or walk points cost. A minimum range and a maximum range. All these parameters must be valid for the spell to cast. Alright, I guess that makes sense. So, look at this. We're gonna vaporize it. Bramble. I don't know what that is. Woodland stench. That seems more like a defensive thing. Harmless toxin. Passive activated. Okay. Let me tell you what it does. That does damage. I mean, they all do damage. That's what it looks like. Vaporize is like it won't really do shit. Let's just click on it. Fuck it, why not? And then what do we do? We need to click on the rabbit. Boom. No, they ain't gonna let me do nothing else, right? Can I fight and cast a spell? I'm not close enough. <clears throat> okay, so wait, well, let me. Oh no, because I already used all my walking, my distance shits. Now, will he stay there? Yeah, you stay there, bitch. Let's see what this one does. <laughs> I selected it. Okay. Can I punch you as well? Yeah, I should punch you too, bitch. Mm-hmm. And then it okay, cool, 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 cool. We're learning. We're figuring this out. My turn. You. You're done. This time I didn't feel so bad because he fought back. I think I scared it too well. Huh, get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> I wonder if you can see the world of 12 from here. What? The warden again? This seems overly tough, right? Oh no! But wasn't there another one? He does it. <laughs> he brought his mama. <laughs> he said, Mommy, that lady was mean to me. <laughs> hmm. There you are, Alchemist. <laughs> 
I cannot say the name. What are you doing? <laughs> Did you feel the supernatural wave of Wafu too? Yes, that Wafu is concerning. Go galore, Gran. <laughs> Sense is something. <laughs> Ouch. Well, well, well. An incarnate. My head. Don't move. I'll heal you. Yes, please. Is that better? Yep, thanks. Go Galora Gran senses a ton of shit. See? He wants to know who you are and where you're from. Speak, mortal! Come on, Groggle. Let's not rush this new incarnate. You're a new Sedita, correct? The first steps are tough for a fresh incarnate. Take some time to get used to your new body. Once you regain your abilities, visit Grogalora Grand. I'll be waiting for you in the sanctuary to the west. I don't even know if I'm <laughs> saying this word right. Uh huh. I think he's really interested. He'll be waiting for you in the sanctuary to the west. Mm -hmm. How about you explore this area a bit first? I probably should. Okay. Yeah. Cause I don't know nothing about nothing. Um, before setting off on your adventure, take the time to explore the celestial island and you get to know its inhabitants, discovering view guides. Using the shortcut Shift T, you can open the map with the M key. I feel like I should be writing this shit now. Or at least, you know what? I got a phone. I can take a picture in case I need to refer back to this later. Yeah. So, guides, Shift T map is m so that should be relatively easy i don't know if there's going to be something on my screen that reminds me but just in case you took a screenshot uh, oh this is this is french quests are missions that involve completing certain objectives they may be unlocked by speaking to an npc or automatically by leveling up or discovering a new island for example okay Access your quest with the quest book, button, or the shortcut Q. I like it. I like it being stupid proof. Quests are organized by category. When like a quest, you can decide whether you want to track it using the button with an I on the thing. Okay. The quest you're tracking up here in the quest tracker. Objectives are shown in green. The compass can sometimes be enabled. It shows what direction you should go to reach the objective. Completing quests gives experience and exclusive rewards. Okay. So, take a nap. Title Unlock Celestial Adventurer. Okay, cool. Celestial Bag. This was a gift from Automai to help prepare you for any situation. I feel like I should start watching the cartoon. Because my kids, I only know about this because my kids watch the cartoon. And um, one of my Taino sisters mentioned that there was a game. And she's played it. So I was like, okay. We'll check it out. Um, talk to Huli. Talk to Automai. Talk to Arena. And then talk to Pepperonia. Walking around. Bean. I'm assuming she might be that floaty blue thing over there. Complete the quest facing a boss. Okay. All right, all right, all right. And then if I hit this button, quest our missions. Okay, we read this. We read this already. I facing a boss. Change class. Oh, interesting. We want all of them. I don't know when another with the tuto. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know what that means. That's clearly, that's probably a like real person. I wish you could just use the arrows to move, but you know, whatever. It's fine. Who are you? Wait, girl, stop. Oh, she's one of the people I'm supposed to talk to. I'm pretty sure. 
You notice the silhouette of a Savita ghost of, which seems incredibly serene and benevolent to you. Welcome to Reed Phoenix Taino. I hope you've had a pleasant journey. Let me introduce myself. I am Aurelia, and I assist the residents in regulating the island's flora and fauna. I can answer any of your questions related to the ecosystem. Hello and thank you, Caporelia. Life seems so peaceful on Reed. Looks like you're doing a great job. I appreciate the harmony of the forces around us. That's why I place so much importance on a balanced ecosystem. Every one of our actions has an impact on the world, and believe me, it's not trivial. So learning to maintain the balance is essential. I understand. I'll try to help you. Cool, 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 cool. Each of your actions impacts the ecosystem of an area. If you kill a monster, it won't respawn automatically. So to manage the monster population, you have to replant seeds. Harvesting seeds is done like any other profession. Action directly on monsters. Oh, you gotta kill them to then plant things? Okay. This is the main purpose of the trapper profession. Alright. Use the seed directly on the ground in the monster family's area. This will transform it into a monster group. I'm not really sure what all that means as far as regulating fauna, but okay. I guess. Harvest three rodent seeds, kill three rodents, plant three rodents. So I'm assuming if you take a nap, that'll like heal you? To make you vulnerable as well? Like, Jesus e o Senhor. Messenger of the Gods. Okay. Someone's got a cool title. Um, what the heck are you? I know how to fight a rodent, but it won't let me... Okay, so it's just gonna... Alright, Mama Rodent. I'm a level... I'm just a little baby. I don't know how to fight. Okay, so... So I should, like, go after a baby rodent, right? Like, that should be... If these things don't be still, let me, let me fight you, bitch. Like... Maybe that's the best I can do, is that one, because this one... What are you... Ooh, what's with that? What, did, what, what the hell? Basement phase. See? There's too much going on. My ADHD brain is not, does not... I do not compute. I do not understand. We're just gonna fight the thing that I can fight because I'm gonna try. Okay, placement phase. The placement phase is the first stage of a fight. Fighters have 60 seconds to get into position before the fight begins. Allied fighters can be placed on a blue cell Enemy fighters would place on a red, so it's giving very chess. Um, to get into position, click on the cell you want. Clicking on ready confirms your position. The fight begins when all fighters are ready or when the time runs out. So I need to, I guess, get here? Well, this seems to be the closest that I can get to that rodent. And then what? I'm ready to fight? Wait, what's this? They didn't say nothing about no green squares. Oh, he's just gonna rush me and shit. Okay, all right. What's this one? Armor three, three uses per target. Oh, I can only use that guy. There is a limit. All right, I feel like I should stick to this. And then I should like, oh, I can't punch you. I can't do it. But there, when I did th this, all right. Okay, now I see. I can, interesting. Now I can punch you. There we go. And I can't do nothing else, right? So then I gotta let him Hit me. Bitch, get back here. You get back here. So that means I got to go here. And then. Does this do more damage? Let's find out. That's the best that I can do. Because I cannot. 
get any closer to him, right? Can't do, yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. So, I'm gonna give up the spade. I'm gonna run the knee. Oh, and he moved me back when he did that. That's not good. Rush his ass. Does it tell me? Three uses per target, so I might as well use it because it did. Did a decent amount of things. And now I'm gonna punch you because you're a little bitch. And I can't do anything else. That's it, another hit. I can't do anything else that I know of, so if there's something I can do, like y'all just I'm I am the brandest newest at this freaking game. So Gonna get right up on you, right up on your ass. And I should only have to like punch you one time, right? Like, that's good. Seeds can be collected from monsters, then planted to make those monsters respawn in the area. You want monsters to respawn? Well, I guess for a healthy ecosystem, you have to have balance. And that's what the chick said earlier, so yeah. You know, to access your character sheet, use the abilities button on the shortcut P for player. You can see your character's name as well as their level experience and characteristics. Cool. Next time, you know. Mama Rodent. I got a rodent ring? Who hasn't dreamed of having a rodent ring on their finger? I didn't know until today. I didn't even know what the fuck that was. Alright, and no money. Or commas. So now what? Now what the fur am I supposed to do? So mama wouldn't use not that much higher of a level. What is this? You can blink him for something. Characteristics. You can access your abilities from the character sheet. Uh huh. Wait, no. Abilities make your character more powerful. You get ability points by veiling up, leveling up. Why did I say failing? <laughs> abilities are split into five categories intelligence, strength, agility, fortune, and nature. It shows how many points are available to spend in each category. Okay, so this, this is pretty straightforward. Use plus to assign a point. You must confirm your choices in order for them to take effect. Okay, but can you, like, move them around or, like, once you add a point, you're done? You can reset your abilities through certain quests or services. Interesting. Okay, so that's that's good to know. It's not necessarily permanent. And then the spells. Thing. I'm assuming it's to unlock different versions of the spell with more intensity. More power to open the spell interface use the button marked spells on or the shortcut s the interface is split into two parts the left side contains the spells in your deck the right side shows your unlocked spells in combat only the spells in your deck are available your deck can have a maximum of 12 spells to equip a spell simply drag and drop or double click on it okay cool some spells are automatically added to your third bar in combat. These are the character's primary spells. Okay. So, these are all the spells I have now. And they're showing. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. And then what is this? Passive spells, elemental, and neutral. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Ooh, I leveled up! Walkable points are needed for special spells. Movement points allow you to move. Action points are needed to cast spells and use items or weapons during fights. Okay. So... Good bending. Oh wait, we got some Spanish speakers. 
and people who speak French, which I don't, I don't speak French, I don't know nothing about that. New player, this symbol tells other players that you're new. Each player that helps you become a mentor and gets rewards, don't hesitate to ask for help if you're lost. Oh, that's cute! It gives you, like, motives to help, you know, new people. So, what am I supposed to do? Oh, wait, I was supposed to... Was it shift T? They said, girl, why is it moving? Movement, interaction, trading. Oh, look at that. I didn't even need a screenshot, nothing. I could just hit shift T and it'll take me right here. Transport, card trading, follow, invite to a group, combat, character, profession, ecosystem, world. All right. So what was the other thing? Because I was supposed to kill the rabbit. Kill the rabbit. Kill the rabbit. A rodent, technically. Um, all right. I think at this point, I'm just going to stop. Because then once my friend is able to play, she can kind of help me do some stuff. Oh, it's right here. It's right here on the screen. <laughs> talk to Huli. Talk to Otomai. Talk to Irina. Talk to... Paralia, wandering around re complete the quest principles of the ecosystem monsters complete the quest principles of the ecosystem resources complete the quest principles of the ecosystem crafting and then complete the quest facing a boss and to face a boss you need to enter the celestial sanctuary uh, principles of the ecosystem so I need to kill two more rodents basically because it's showing that I killed one which is the one I just killed okay so, I don't want to interrupt, I don't want to just like join someone's fight without their like consent, you know, even though it seems like, oh, I got to fight two of these bitches now. <sighs> Excuse the fuck out of me. All right, so I guess I should place. Should I place myself between these two bitches? Yeah, no, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna get close to one and hope the other one doesn't have enough time to get anywhere the fuck near me. There's three of them. There's this bitch over here too. Does that mean I can't get close to him? I don't see anything to do near him. All right, well, let's, we just gonna have to. We, we just gonna have to okay the ultra powerful summons four turn cooldown right click to open the details window okay give me details with this spell the sedina summons the ultra powerful doll the sedina strategy centers around the ultra powerful because it is this doll that summons all other sedita dolls bitch i don't know what that means sedita's tear an attack that inflicts considerable damage without a line of sight and which can heal allies or deal damage to enemies. Okay. But it won't heal me. I'm the person. I'm the person I'm concerned with right now. Um, a spell with which deal. Blah, 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 blah. A spell which either deals earth damage by whipping opponents who are a bit too reckless or creates a brambly armor around an ally. Um, and we have this one, the Sedita Breeze Out Nonchalantly, which is, am I about to get the fuck attacked because I took too long? <sighs> See? It's not time to learn, bitch. It's not time to learn. <laughs> All right. So we just, we just gonna, we, we're gonna stick to what we know. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stick to what the fuck we know. We're gonna get over here. Because I want to stay away from some of these other bitches. And we're gonna... That's really all I can do right now. You stay... Stay your ass over there. Of course you're gonna run away from me. Of course you are. This is as close as I can get to his ass, right? Because I want to still fuck with him. Because 
I don't like you. But you're also... Wait. Shit. Okay, there's a timer on this bitch. I don't like that. I don't like... It's gonna give me anxiety, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm getting cornered like a. I'm getting beat the fuck up, but that's fine. I mean, it's not fine at all, but it's it'll. I'll survive, I guess. Oh, and you. Wait. Then turn. Excuse the fuck out of me. No, I'm not. turn automatically over now? What is the fuck? What? I don't like this game. <laughs> I'm not having fun anymore. Okay, it's fine. We're gonna figure this out. We are going to really figure this out. Can I hear myself? Will not let me heal myself, right? That's not gonna work. Okay. All right. It's fine. This thing is this the one that was gonna hit like everybody? No. To those eyeballs, me. I am gonna die. I picked a fight with the wrong thing. Can I run away? Can a bitch run away? Uh, yeah. sure got away from him. And now I feel like I should... We don't, we don't run. <laughs> We're gonna get away from that bitch. Um, well, I guess my moves are over. I feel like this was very unfur. Do I have any way of healing myself? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Um, notes and smileys. That's not gonna help a bitch. Hopefully I can take one more hit. I don't even remember how much damage he's doing. Oh, he didn't do nothing. He didn't do that, and I'm going to barely make it out of this bitch alive. Okay, access your character's inventory with the inventory button or the shortcut. To equip an item, either right-click on it or drag and drop the items into the correct... Mm, bless me, slot. Into the correct slot. If an item's level is higher than your character's level... You can't equip it or use it. Well, that sucks. What level am I? What level am I now? So I've gotten rodents and mama rodents. Okay, cool. And they automatically heal me, so I don't need to like take a nap or something. Um, you stay the hell away from me, you little bitch. So now what do I do? I need to click this. I'm a level four now. Very cool. I've got 90 HP, 6 AP, 3 MP, 6 WP. And how was I supposed to... Is it this? No. It wasn't. This was supposed to show me... Was it here? Cast a spell, placement phase, turns, elements, fighter sheet, orientation. Was it this? No. It was something that showed me characteristics. There we go. So how do I go? What's the shortcut for the characteristics? I don't remember. 
character sheet. Every time I say sheet, I feel like I'm saying... Okay, but how do I add the points, though? How? Is it not going to let me? Is it here? Damage inflicted, battle. Or maybe I just don't have enough to actually even, for that to even apply? I don't know. Does this game automatically save? That's something I need to... Weather, no, 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 no. Or spend across the region, having fulfilled all the clan members' wishes. I don't even know what that means. Um, what is this? No, go back. I need to know. Spells, inventory, professions. I got nothing. There's three possible professions plus management. Da, 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 da. So I've killed three rodents. And it says harvest rodent seeds, but I don't know. Is that what that is? Like, I, I don't even know. So I probably go to my inventory, right? Inventory. Wouldn't it say wooden seed, not wooden Hmm. What am I supposed to do with this? Where can I put you? Can you go with the jewelry? Is that where you go? I'm on level four, so I should be able to leave, right? How do I equip it? Or am I already equipping it technically? I'm just pressing buttons. Probably needs to go here, right? Where the rain goes. No? Item name. Level. See? I don't even... I don't... Huh. By the time I figure it out, I'm going to feel real dumb. But... Who's in profession for crafting? Permanently removed. So, do I already have it equipped? That might be the case. I might automatically have it equipped and whatever. But, like, what about the seeds? Where do I find the seeds? Because I unalive the rodents. Do I just pick a place in the ground? It said something about, like, when you fight the thing with the thing, or the thingy thing thing, you plant the seed on, on basically the carcass of what you fought, but I'm, I don't see no carcass, you know what I'm saying, like, I am confusion. So, let's do this again. Uh, profession trapper seeds can be collected from monsters and planted oh okay so that wasn't an option before maybe I needed to level up enough to be able to shit I don't fucking know I don't know bro I need to find a, a lone woden You just harvest it from... Gotcha. Okay, so that's one seed. We don't even need to fight them to heart. Okay. Two. And then three. Come back. Bunny, come back. Is 
that what we want to do? That's what we want to do. Okay. We did that. Now plant three woden seeds. Now how do I do that? Would I... So do I have to have a tool? I have to have a specific tool? Wait, down here. Look at that, okay. We figured that shit out. Two. Three. All right. Now it says, now what do I do? Go back and talk to Keparilia. Well, where is what? Where is my friend? Okay, she's right here. No, no. Yes. Talk to her. Hello, adventure. <laughs> Hello, adventurer. How can I help you? I took care of the woodings. I'd like more information about the ecosystem. I've already got all the information I need. I'm going to move on. Took care of all the woodings. I see. You know how to deal with fauna. Let's move to Florida. There's more! Of course there is. It's as good as done. Each of your actions impacts the ecosystem of an area. If you cut a resource, it won't respawn automatically. So to regulate the flora in a zone, you have to replant seeds and cuttings. Harvesting seeds is done like any other profession action directly on resources. This action becomes available when the resource is at an advanced stage of evolution and the action returns it to the previous stage, allowing you to cut the resource and harvest it. Okay, so we are going to wait. Harvest three celestial flower seeds, cut three celestial flowers, plant three celestial flowers. So I'm assuming that's what these are. What does it say? Harvest. I'm gonna harvest first because then I can plant after having cut. I see. Okay, what it means by it reverts to a previous stage of evolution. So these ones we're gonna cut. going to plant the ones that we just we're going to plant where we just cut and now we got these plant 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 and that's cool to know that I don't have to wait I can, I can just tell it what I want to do and sit back and wait that's interesting go back and talk to our friend. She's over here. Hello there, adventurer. How can I help you? This is for the flowers. I'd like more information about the ecosystem. I've already got the information I need. I'm going to move on. So this is for the flowers. All right, then. We take care of the ecosystem. It returns the favor. Now you can use the resources you harvested to craft potions at Otomai's workshop. Potions. I'm going to see. So we did that. All right. How do I save this game? Is it? Does it auto save? Wait. Let's do this. Oh, we got more HP in a bitch. We like that. Got some new spells, maybe? Oh. Fertilizer. Alright, interesting. Okay. Menu. Change character, log out, quit. Okay, so you can have, like, a different character in each class. I need to eat bread. I don't know if y'all could hear that, but that was my stomach. <laughs> so I'm going to 
you know what, if it doesn't auto save, I'm going to be upset, but at least I didn't do that much, right? So options will it have a save option, it doesn't look like it. So I'm going to go ahead with the assumption that it auto saves and we're going to, I'm going to quit, I'm going to quit. Yes. All right. That's it for now. And I'm going to hit up my friend and let them know that I got through a little bit of the game already and, um, see if and when they want to, they want to, um, like co-op basically. So, okay. Bye.